Welcome to the video. I'm going to be showing you what multis are inside of Contact and how you can create your own multi files. Now you may have already encountered multis when working with certain libraries in the left hand panel here of Contact. Usually you'll find there's a tab for instruments and when you expand this it will contain individual patches which have been categorized and organized for that library. However, with some libraries, you may find there's a separate tab called Multis. And when you click on this, you'll find that you have some named files which you can drag and drop in. Essentially, all a multi is is a collection of individual patches from the library, which have been set up in a certain way because it creates a certain tonal palette, or maybe some individual patches have been layered together to create one sound. When these are saved, they're known as Multis. And that's because there's literally more than one patch which has been saved together. So when creating a multi, all you'll be doing is just literally grabbing the selection of patches. Usually you'll be doing this if you're working with one in particular library. For example, I could go ahead and set up 16 patches for Metropolis Arc 1. So then when I go to work in my DAW, I can load up the multi file, have all my outputs pre-configured, have all the microphones configured how I want, and then all I would need to do is link them up with group tracks or audio tracks, etc, etc, inside of the DAW. Now to create your own multi, again, all you do is you just chuck a patch in you want to use or a combination of patches, and then set them up how you wish to set them up. For this case here, I'm just going to have three individual patches and I want to activate my microphone outputs for these and I'm going to pretend I've already set up the audio outputs for contact and we'll just imagine that we've connected them all. I've actually done a video on how to set up your contact outputs which will appear at the top right of your screen if you're interested in watching how to do that. Once you've set up your patches how you like them to be, all you would simply do is go to the floppy disk up here and go to save multi as. Now, a top tip from me, if you want to save on RAM and you don't want your computer to suddenly have a big performance hit if you're using a lot of high RAM usage patches, then all you would need to do is go to global purge and then go purge all samples. When you purge all the samples for your patches, what this means is that for each individual key that has samples on for each patch, it'll unload all of the samples from those keys. So when you go to load up your multi, it'll load up instantaneously and won't start eating any RAM. The only time it will start using RAM is when MIDI triggers any of these keys and then it will load all of the samples for the key that's been triggered and it will leave the other keys without the samples loaded on. So it saves you a little bit of system memory. This is also a very useful idea if you're working on large projects and you want to reduce the amount of RAM which is being used by your session. Instead of using Global Purge, you could go to Update Sample Pool and it will literally unload anything that you're not using in terms of samples on the patches for each key. When saving a multi, if you go to Save Multi As, you'll have a little pop-up box and you will have you know, a location on your computer which you can create to save all of your multi files in. I've gone ahead and created one for this video on one of my different hard drives and it is literally called Contact Multis. Now we're going to name this multi something that is A, going to be easier, easy for us to recognize so we know what it is. So if we've layered something together to create a big piano sound, we could call it Big Piano Multi. Uh, for this, it's a couple of art patches. So I'm just going to put art uh, one test. We click on save. And now we will be able to recall this preset. But before we do, if we want to see it in the rack up here, and we also want to see it in the quick load bar, if we right click and select multi, then we need to go to the database. And then you'll see here that it's actually in the database. You might find it might not show up. And if it doesn't, because you've saved your preset, uh, to a different location, all you need to do is tell contact where that folder is to scan. To do this, simply click on DB options and just add the folder location containing your multis and then go to update or reset and scan and contact will then scan all the different locations which you have added here for any multi presets. Now you can see here we have arc one test. If I was to drag and drop this into the quick load bar, 
it'll now be populated in the multi-rack. But we can go one step further and right click and create our own folder and call it arc1 and drag and drop it into this folder. The cool thing about using the quick load bar is that you can create your own directories and subdirectories for any of your patches, not just for multis but for single patch setups as well. On the left hand side here we have some additional options which will help when searching through our bank of patches. If you right click then go to edit you'll be greeted with a couple of different settings. Now for the bank name I could call this whatever I like, I could call this arc one bank and anything that any of additional patches that we create and give this bank name it'll put all of those into its own bank folder so for example if i put this in the metropolis arc 2 bank i've already pre-created by typing it out and then we'll put the vendor as orchestral tools because they're the developer then click save what you will find is under metropolis arc 2 there'll be the ARC1 test, although I must have mis misspelt it and missed something out because it hasn't quite uh, put it up here out. Actually, okay, so it's case sensitive. I forgot about that. Um, it is case sensitive when you do this. So if we re-edit this and make the ARC lowercase, it'll now stick it in our Metropolis ARC2 bank and you can see. But obviously this is ARC1, so I'm just gonna change that to ARC1 and you'll see that we have a bank created. So any patches that we give that bank name of when we edit, they'll all be added into that bank. So it's kind of like the quick load section here, but it's for when you're searching. Now, when you're working with your multis, just make sure you have the multi tab enabled. If you also have the other tabs enabled like instrument and bank, it'll give you all the details for those as well. And that's it, that's what multis are. Now, the beauty of this is when you're working on different DAWs, you can literally come in and say, okay, I want to load up uh, my high strings with all the settings and microphone positions X, Y, Z that I like, click on the multi, and then contact will go ahead and load up all of those patches and remember all the output settings X, Y, Z that you have created for them. And then all you would simply do is connect up your MIDI tracks and off you go. So that's the beauty of multis. Hopefully you found this useful. If you found this useful video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments box below and I'll see you all in the next contact tips video.